Welcome back, Canucks fans. Today we're diving into the three possible PTO options left for the Canucks after Tyson Berry signed with Calgary. The Canucks had been linked to Berry as a potential depth addition on the right side, but with Barry signing in Calgary, the Canucks will have to look elsewhere. Thankfully, there are still a few interesting names on the market, and we're going to break down three of them today. We'll be looking at their history, their potential fit with the Canucks, and what kind of impact they could have on the ice. So buckle up, Canucks fans, and let's dive in. Our first PTO option for the Canucks is veteran goaltender Antti Rayanta. Rayanta, a 34-year-old Finnish netminder, brings a wealth of experience to the table. With over a decade in the NHL, he has seen it all and faced some of the league's best shooters. He's played for teams like the Chicago Blackhawks, New York Rangers, Arizona Coyotes, and most recently, the Carolina Hurricanes. Each stint has added to his depth of knowledge and skill, making him a seasoned veteran. Throughout his career, Ranta has consistently put up solid numbers, even when sharing the net with other goalies. His save percentage and goals against average have often been among the best on his teams. He's known for his athleticism and his ability to make the big save when it matters most. His quick reflexes and sharp instincts have bailed his teams out of many tight situations. Now, let's talk about his potential fit with the Canucks. Vancouver is a team looking to solidify its goaltending depth, and Rayanta could be a key piece in that puzzle. Vancouver has Thatcher Demko as their clear-cut starter, but the backup position is a question mark. Demko has shown he can handle the starting role, but having a reliable backup is crucial for any team with playoff aspirations. Bringing in a veteran presence like Raanta to compete with Spencer Martin for the backup job could be a shrewd move. Martin has potential, but having a seasoned goalie like Raanta could push him to elevate his game. Raanta's experience and mentorship could be invaluable for a young goaltender like Demko. Learning from someone who has navigated the ups and downs of an NHL career could be a huge benefit. Plus, if Demko were to get injured, Raanta has the experience and ability to step in and play a significant role. His ability to handle pressure situations makes him a reliable option. However, there are some concerns with Raanta. His career has been marred by injuries, which have sometimes kept him off the ice for extended periods. He's had his fair share of injury troubles throughout his career, which is a risk the Canucks would have to weigh. Consistency and availability is crucial for a backup goalie. Additionally, Raanta's cap hit, even on a PTO, might be a bit high for a backup role. The Canucks would need to manage their salary cap carefully to accommodate him. Overall, Antti Raanta presents an intriguing option for the Canucks. His experience, skill, and potential to mentor younger players make him a valuable asset. He's a proven NHL goalie with the potential to provide solid backup minutes and mentorship. His track record speaks for itself, and he could be a stabilizing force in the Canucks net. However, his injury history and potential cap hit are factors that the Canucks will need to consider carefully. Balancing the risk and reward will be key in making this decision. If the Canucks decide to bring Rayanta on board, it could be a move that pays off significantly, providing them with the depth and experience needed for a successful season. Moving on to our second PTO option for the Canucks, and it's Player B's name, a Player B's position, who's looking to make a comeback to the NHL. This player has had an interesting journey, filled with ups and downs, and now he's looking for a fresh start. Now, some of you might be thinking, who? And that's fair. Player B isn't exactly a household name, but that doesn't mean he lacks talent or potential. Player B isn't exactly a household name. He's been around the league, but hasn't quite found a permanent home. He's a journeyman who's bounced around the league a bit, with stints in previous teams Player B has played for. Each team has seen glimpses of what he can bring to the ice. But don't let that fool you. Player B has shown flashes of brilliance throughout his career. There have been moments where he's truly shined, making key plays and scoring crucial goals. He's got a real knack for Player B's strength, 
and at 32 years old, he still has some gas left in the tank. His experience and skill set could be invaluable to a team looking for depth. So, how does Player B fit in with the Canucks? The team is in need of depth at Player B's position, and his experience could be exactly what they need. Well, the Canucks are looking for depth at Player B's position, and Player B could provide just that. His versatility and experience make him a valuable asset. He's a low-risk, high-reward option who could potentially surprise some people. If he can tap into his past performances, he might just become a key player for the Canucks. Imagine Player B coming into training camp with a chip on his shoulder, ready to prove himself. He's got something to prove, not just to the Canucks, but to the entire league. He could push the younger guys for ice time, and who knows, maybe even earn himself a spot on the opening night roster. His presence could elevate the competition within the team. Of course, there's always the chance that Player B doesn't pan out. It's a gamble, but one that could pay off big time. Maybe he's lost a step, or maybe he just doesn't fit in with the Canucks system. There are always uncertainties with players on PTOs. But on a PTO, there's really no downside for Vancouver. It's a low-risk move that could yield high rewards if Player B finds his form. It's a chance for Player B to resurrect his NHL career, and for the Canucks to potentially find a diamond in the rough. If everything clicks, this could be a win-win situation for both parties. Training camp will be crucial for Player B. He'll need to show that he's still got what it takes to compete at the highest level. The coaching staff will be watching closely, evaluating his every move. It's a make or break moment for him. If he can impress, he might just secure himself a spot on the roster. If not, it could be the end of the road for his NHL dreams. But for now, the opportunity is there. It's up to player B to seize it and make the most of this chance with the Canucks. Chapter three, option number three, PTO target number three. Our final PTO option for the Canucks today brings us to player C's name, a player C's position who's looking to prove he can still compete at the NHL level. This player has been around the block and has seen the highs and lows of professional hockey. His journey is one of resilience and determination, and now he stands at the crossroads of his career, eager to make a lasting impression. Player C, a veteran of number NHL seasons, has had a long and winding career, with stops in list a few teams Player C has played for. His career has been marked by significant contributions to each team he has played for, showcasing his adaptability and skill set. From his early days as a promising rookie to his current status as a seasoned veteran, Player C has always been a player to watch. He's known for his Player C's strengths, e.g. physicality, shot blocking, leadership qualities. These attributes have made him a valuable asset on the ice, where his presence is felt both in the defensive zone and in the locker room. His ability to read the game and make crucial plays has earned him respect from teammates and opponents alike. However, in recent years, he's found himself on the outside looking in, spending time in the AHL and even overseas. This period has been a test of his perseverance and love for the game. Despite the challenges, Player C has continued to train hard and stay in shape, always ready for the next opportunity to prove himself. Now, at Player C's age, he's hoping to catch on with a team and show that he still has something left to offer. His age brings with it a wealth of experience, and he believes that his knowledge of the game can be a significant advantage. He's not just playing for himself, but also to inspire younger players who look up to him. So, what could Player C bring to the Canucks? Beyond his on-ice skills, he brings a mindset of professionalism and dedication. His work ethic is second to none, and he can set a standard for younger players to follow. His presence can help create a culture of hard work and perseverance within the team. Well, for starters, he'd bring a wealth of experience and leadership to a relatively young Canucks team. 
His insights and advice can be invaluable during high-pressure situations, helping to calm nerves and provide strategic guidance. His leadership extends beyond just words. It's about leading by example and showing what it takes to succeed at the highest level. He's seen it all and done it all in the NHL, and that kind of veteran presence can be invaluable, especially in the dressing room. Young players can learn a lot from his experiences, both good and bad. His stories and lessons can serve as a roadmap for navigating the ups and downs of a professional hockey career. On the ice, Player C could provide some much needed depth on the Canucks blue line. His defensive skills are still sharp, and he knows how to position himself to block shots and disrupt the opposing team's offense. His presence can give the coaching staff more options when it comes to defensive pairings and matchups. He's a stay-at-home defenseman who's not afraid to put his body on the line and sacrifice for the team. This kind of selflessness is crucial in a team sport like hockey, where every blocked shot and every hit can make a difference. His willingness to do the dirty work can inspire his teammates to play with the same level of commitment. While he might not be the flashiest player, he's reliable and knows how to play a simple, effective game. His focus is on making smart, safe plays that minimize risks and keep the team in control. This reliability can be a stabilizing force for the Canucks, especially during tight games where every decision counts. Of course, there are some question marks surrounding player C. His age and recent performance history raise concerns about his ability to keep up with the fast pace of the NHL. However, these doubts can also serve as motivation for him to prove the skeptics wrong. His best years are behind him, and he's not the same player he once was. But with age comes wisdom, and player C has a deep understanding of the game that younger players might lack. His experience can help him anticipate plays and make smart decisions that younger, faster players might overlook. But on a PTO, there's no risk for the Canucks. It's a low commitment way to evaluate his current form and see if he can still contribute at a high level. This tryout period is a win-win situation for both parties, offering a chance to assess fit and performance without long-term obligations. It's a chance for player C to prove he can still play at the NHL level and for the Canucks to potentially add a veteran presence to their blue line. If he performs well, he could earn a spot on the roster and provide the team with the depth and experience they need. For player C, it's an opportunity to extend his career and continue playing the game he loves at the highest level. That's it for today's video. Let us know in the comments which PTO option you think is the best fit for the Canucks. Do they go with the experience and potential of Antti Rayanta? Or maybe take a chance on a comeback story with player B's name? Or perhaps they opt for the veteran leadership of player C's name? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Canucks news.